Hi there, welcome to the Cotswold Explorer. I'm Robin Shuckborough and Ross, Widget and I are in the wonderful town of Chipping Camden. The name of this ancient settlement is Anglo-Saxon. Camp is the word for a settlement, um, den is the word for a valley, so this means a settlement in a valley. The word chipping refers to the market which was awarded to this village in 1175 by King Henry II. Like many of these most beautiful of the villages in the Cotswolds, its beauty is partly down to its lack of commercial success. Very successful villages were redeveloped and constantly added to, but places like Chicken Camden that suffered something of a roller coaster of a history have remained as beautiful as ever right from the very beginning. We're going to show you around. Follow me. In around 1610, the manor of Camden was bought by one Sir Baptist Hicks, and shortly afterwards he set about building a grand country house that befit his status, and he styled himself the first Lord Camden. He doesn't seem to have spent much time here, and when he died in 1629, the house and estate passed to his daughter Juliana. In January 1645, during the Civil War, Camden was occupied by royalist troops, under Colonel Henry Bard, who urgently set about the fortification of the house. However, in May the same year, the garrison was moved westwards, and seemingly in order to avoid the newly fortified house falling into the hands of the parliamentarians, it was set alight and razed to the ground. No doubt a good deal of the stone will have been reused in the building of the village of Camden, and now all that's left is a few ruins, the spectacular gates, and the two Jacobean banqueting houses, now under the care of the Landmark Trust, who make them available as holiday lets. Behind me is the Church of St. James, Chipping Camden, one of the single most spectacular of all the wool churches in the Cotswolds. This is a range of churches paid for largely out of the proceeds of the wool industry. This is one of the most spectacular of all. There was a Norman church on this site originally, slightly squat, with a square tower, but around 1260, the transformation from that into what you see behind me started, when it was to take nearly 250 years. The rebuilding of the chancel and the construction of the North Isle with its windows and battlements led, in around 1490, to the design and building of the nave with its wonderful arcades, seemingly built on the old Norman foundations, and beautifully lit by the unusual window above the chancel. During the end of the 15th and into the 16th century, the soaring West Tower was built, which now houses an eight-bell peal. The bells seem to have been originally cast between 1680 and 1737, but they were recast and hung in 1987. The clock, whose original movement is dated 1695, was replaced in 1962, and the 17th century mechanism can now be seen under the arch of the tower. Also preserved are a pair of altar frontals, which on the orders of Queen Mary were copied for the high altar at Westminster Abbey for the coronation in June 1911. Little of the original medieval stained glass remains, but the east window was commissioned in 1925 by Henry Payne to commemorate the fallen of the First World War. Well, we've had an amazing morning at St. James in Chipping Camden. Um, this place is really a kind of essence of the Cotswolds. It's extraordinary. It's so beautiful and peaceful and lovely. Um, we're going to look at the centre of town now, but meanwhile, I hope you've enjoyed it, and we'll see you again soon.